Hi everybody, my name is Selena and I am currently a student at the IB School of Business. Today in this video, we will be focusing in on the Diamond E framework. I'm going to be outlining the purpose of the Diamond E analysis as well as the components that make up the framework and a few key concepts to understand in using the framework. In part two of this video, I'm going to be going over an example of the Diamond E framework um, through the company Coca-Cola. And so with that, let's get started. Okay, awesome. So you should be able to see the Diamond E framework now. And this framework is a comprehensive tool that helps you to organize and analyze the key variables that must be considered when making strategic decisions. Through the Diamond E framework, you will be able to, one, assess the company's current strategy, two, generate new ideas for change, and three, evaluate these proposals in the overall context of the business. So you can see from this diagram that the framework consists of five broad categories. And within each of these respective categories, multiple types of analyses and frameworks can be applied. So within environment, you might be wanting to conduct a pest analysis, a Porter's Five Forces, and an industry value chain. In resources and capabilities, you're looking at the company's various function area, functional areas, including human resources, finance, and operations. In organizational design, you want to be analyzing the company's reward or compensation systems, organizational structure, as well as culture. Management preferences is the human element. And so you want to be analyzing the biases and preferences of key stakeholders. And in terms of strategy, what we're really looking at here are the goals, product market focus, core activities, as well as a value proposition of the company. We can see that out of the five components of the Diamond E framework, strategy is the critical linkage variable. Strategy tells you which opportunities the business should pursue in the environment, and accordingly, the organizational resources, design, and management preferences necessary for successful execution. Just a few more points on the Diamond E framework. We can see that really the premise of the framework is that you want to achieve alignment between each component of the framework. Alignment, according to this framework, leads to a successful business, while inconsistencies result in poor performance. Therefore, a strong strategy, for example, needs to be aligned with both environmental opportunities and challenges, as well as internal capabilities, design, and preferences. Another component of the Diamond E framework are the double arrows in the diagram. And this is to demonstrate how each component is linked to one another and can influence one another. You can see that the arrows go both ways because influence moves in both directions. For example, each variable can either drive strategy or strategy can drive the variables. Because of this, changes in one variable will most likely affect all other variables. So there you go. That's your summary of the Diamond E framework. Um, stay tuned for the second part of this video for an example. Thanks.